All right, uh, this is going to be a tutorial on uh, simple texture replacement uh, for Z64 ROM management tool. Um, I'm going to show you my project as an example. That way it's a little bit easier. And you're basically going to have to do your own research on this, but I'll, I'll show you a general easy way to go about it. Uh, so in your main root folder, you're going to want to go into patch again. And you're going to put all of your, like, let's say icons you're replacing. This is all I've done so far. Um, uh, you're going to just put them in the root here. And uh, so for icons, I'm going to link this here. You can go to the wiki and uh, you can look up um, whatever you want to replace. Let's say Kokiri Sword, for example. You want to look at the format RGBA32 with 32 by 32 and where is it located in item icon item static. Okay, so we're going to use this program here. I'll also have this link, ZZ Tech View. We're going to look into icon item static. Uh, this will be located in your C64 ROM folder. Uh, you go to the base folder, you go to ROM system. Static, vanilla, and you're going to want to look for this, icon item static. Ah, there it is. So this will edit whatever is in this section, which has Kokiri Sword and a bunch of other stuff. So this is what we want. We'll open that up for now. Uh, since it reads in RGBA32, we want to set this to RGBA32. And we have our 32 by 32 box here, which shows the icon. You can then uh, right click this little number here and drag to get to the icon you want. Uh, a good example will be lens. So I've dragged it where the lens is perfectly centered and it gives us offset 0xf000. So say we want to replace this texture, the lens texture, it's at this offset. So we would then open this real quick. We would then open this file here, texel.config, in the patch folder as well. And we're going to give this address. This points to where we're gonna be reading it from. ROM system static icon item static dot bin. And then we want the offset, which is F000. I actually do have it right here. You're gonna do equals texture. And then uh, this is this will be the name of the icon, which we also just simply put in the patch folder as well. So you can see it's here, 3D glasses icon.png. So it reads the name of it. And then comma, what format, RGBA32 which is what it reads, there you go. And all you would do, save that. Okay, that's in there. You would then do your build as always. And you get your custom texture. That's just an example of what I've done with my project. Now, you can do um, basically any other texture with the same method. You're just going to have to look it up yourself where it is and all that. So say you want to change the name, uh, like map, like or like the map, right? I think it's called Grand Static or something. Grand, yeah, Map Grand Static. So say you want to change the maps, for example, you would have to pull up where Map Grand, St Grand Static is in this vanilla folder. Once again, you can just like look through all these, explore it, and then the format. Once again, IA4, right? You could just change it here. IA4, custom heights 80 by like 73, 
and that would like pull up the map properly and, and give you what it looks like and you could pull the offset, etc. So, um, I mean, there's a lot to explore. You, you gotta do the, the legwork yourself, but that's essentially it. It's gonna be in this format. This is the easiest way to do it. You can make it more organized, but this is the easiest way to do it. Uh, any questions, just add asking the Hillian modding. We can probably help you out more, but that's it. Easy texture replacement.